We are here in Richards Bay somewhere on the beach. I have no idea where. Uh, we've sure. been lucky and fortunate enough for Dean Ready to bring us along to one of his spots. Uh, the gear I'm going to use today is the new Dawa tournament, 15 foot. We're giving that a test. Um, it's going to be on your shelf soon. I'm using the Dawa Saltist 8000. I've got some Gator Braid on there. And uh, we are here, we're targeting sandies, some nice sandies. The trace I'm going to be using uh, is this FMJ trace. I've put the FMJ trace on because there's a big chance of a black fin as well. And I don't want to lose that. Um, so basically, from my braided leader, I go to a swivel, 150 pound, to a fixed swivel that I've crimped between two beads. And that's where I'll hang my sinker down to a mustad 10 -o circle hook that's the tuna circle um, that's going to be my my hook for this summer strong as an ox nice size nice and sharp and uh, i'm going to throw out a red eye mackerel combo so um, yeah stay tuned and hopefully we we got a good fish on just now just north of richards bay we came to one of uh, one of our better spots on the coast so uh, we've got rock that visited the area and uh, so we brought him down to one of our areas to fish. We've got Linton with us as well. Uh, I think Rock already spoke you all through his setup. Uh, I've got pretty much the same stuff on. I've got 40 pound J bread. I've got the Soldist 8000 and my Elite uh, Heavy, the 15 foot. I think Linton. Uh, how's it guys? Uh, I'm using my 15 foot Elite Heavy with 48 pound Gator braid and Cobra braid at least and uh, Soldist 8000. Okay, so yeah, the trace I'm using, I've got a uh, Tenno Tuna Circle, the silver one. I've got 150 pound wire with a full metal jacket. Um, the reason why we're fishing 150, guys, the water is extremely cold at the moment and there's a good chance of getting a raggy or a black fin. And I'm sure we're gonna get some sandies as well tonight. So this, this is more just to cover all the bases. If there's only sandies around, then we'll change and go a bit lighter. But I think on the first throw, just got dark now. So good to put wire, the, the tide started to turn now. I think we've got a high tide at about 11 o'clock. So on the push, the fish are going to start to come now. So hang on, hang tight. I'm sure we're going to get a fish on our first throw. Okay guys, so uh, I'm getting ready to put a bait on. I've done my trace, the rod's waiting in the rod holder. Um, I'm putting together a little dangle. Piano wire, I've just put a bit of uh, foam on there and I'm going to stick some toothpicks through here. I actually learned this method from uh, Andre. Um, I've stolen it and I may even claim it as my own. <laughs> um, but yeah, toothpicks through here just to hold the bait on nice. Uh, I'm going to put, put a mackerel uh, red eye combo on. It's my favorite sandy bait. Might throw a little slice of uh, choco in there as well. And uh, we'll get this bait in the water and hopefully uh, catch you soon with the real screaming. Right, so this is my bait of choice. I've got a red eye. Smell, I'm gonna hit it with a mallet. Got two of these, hit that with a mallet, and I'm gonna wrap all that around. A mackerel head is my base. I'm just measuring my dangle. Yeah. The reason why I'm doing this is so that when I put cotton around it, the cotton goes into the grooves and it holds everything in place. Some lovely fresh mackerel from the Kingfisher. Ray Thompson gave me the call. Went in and picked up my parcel. Very happy with that. Thanks, Ray. Not gonna bother taking the skin off because I'm in a mad rusher. I'm just hoping I remember to lift the bail on when I cast. Then I'm gonna finish it off with good old guaranteed bat red eye. Nice and old, mushy, perfect. Look at all that blood. That's exactly why we use it. Press 
it in like a ball, make it nice and streamlined for when we cast. Not gonna cast too far here, just over the lip. Lots of cotton. This is what we call a mixed grill. I like to use the thick cotton from the Kingfisher. I find it very frustrating when I'm putting my cotton on and it keeps breaking all the time. So I just go for the thick straight away. And then we don't have that problem. Look at that. I'm gonna finish this off. A fillet of mackerel. Joining me from uh, Durban this evening, we've got two guest anglers, Kuhn Portman and Damon Beatty. How's it, guys? guys. Two guys that uh, have shared their knowledge with me over the years and I've learnt a lot from them. And uh, hopefully tonight the student beats the teacher. That's so nice, I think I'm going to have a bite. Jokes. Okay, Jen, so I just threw a bait. Just had a fish now, just pulled me flat down. Took a bit of string and it left it. So, not exactly what it is right now. But, it could be a diamond sitting and playing with a bait. Maybe one of those smaller juvenile sandies. We'll see. Probably gonna get it. Oh, there we go. Probably gonna go down just now. Could even be a little blue skate because the water is extremely cold at the moment. So uh, yeah, we're just trying to wait. I've got a got a big trace on. I've got a 12 hour hook, so I don't want to prematurely hit it. Alright, it'll come back. It'll come back. I've got a head there with some cutlets, so I'm sure the head's still there. Just threw a little red eye and chocker bait onto the bank there. Waited about 15 minutes. Got a quick chow now. Not a very big fish. It's like a small fat fish. The way it ate. Could be a brown or blue. Not too far out now. Watch line figures. tight there were little fish uh, threw a red eye and chocker bait onto the bank had a seven or tuna circle on uh, and a full metal jacket I was fishing for a sandy I threw a smaller sandy bait um, and the end result is a little brown sketch uh, there's plenty of these fish around in summer uh, as you saw the hook popped off in the short arms they've got very soft mouth so when you're targeting them you generally fish lighter and you don't you don't tighten up so much on them I was fishing with a bit of a tighter drag. I pulled the hook out of his mouth in the end. But uh, yeah, we managed to grab it in the dump. Beautiful little brown skate. Gonna get him back in the water. Throw another bait. So Lynch has got a lacquer brown there. The chaka and red eye bait. So I just changed up and I put a bit of a smaller bait, chaka and red eye. Uh, I threw that with a salt to 6500. I've got 48-pound uh, cobra braid on ya. I've got the new Elite, the Daiwa Saltus Elite, 15-foot medium heavy. So I'm really enjoying this setup. It's quite a lacquer rod for for medium-sized fishing. You know, uh, I've got a few good fish in it already. It, it handles the fish quite well. It's nice and soft, easy on your back as well. It throws really, really well. So. Uh, Let's see if we can get one of the smallest sandies or brown. I didn't put on a big trace. I put a uh, 120 pound bite trace with a 8 0 hook. So, yeah, let's see. I'm going to drone a bite out now. I've gone for a very simple bite. Half a mackerel, some squid around it. Same trace. I'm going to put 
this one on the bank and uh, hopefully it will roll off and I'll find that sandy that uh, seems to be hiding from me. Got a small fish on here, doesn't, doesn't feel too big. I think it seems like a small fish. Okay, so I got the Salter 6500 with the uh, Cobra braid on and uh, the uh, Daiwa Salter Elite. A 15 foot medium heavy so really enjoying the setup it's a, it's a medium setup and uh, I will put it to the paces on this fish let's see how it goes Everybody's tangled with this fish, so we're trying to, we're just trying to grab it now. So the dump's quite horrible, yeah. It's got a long lip, and uh, with all the lines tangled, so Lyndon's just trying to untangle them. What a huge mess! The question is, I want to know who's claiming the fish. <laughs> medium heavy and the salt is 6500 there was a hell of a mess we had four lines tangled up all together the sinker grabbed all their lines so I think we are lucky to get the fish out there hasn't been many pulls I had one bite in my first throw and then uh, obviously there's a second bite here so I'm happy with that not a bad not a bad start to the evening uh, yeah so we're gonna unhook it release it so guys this is what Angling in Zuland is all about, especially in the northern beaches. Um, you pretty much can hook any of these flat fish in summer here. Yeah? Uh, along with that, you got the raggies and the uh, and the black fins as well. So it's a diver, nevertheless. We'll take it. Target species today is actually a sandy or a raggy, so we'll persist and uh, hopefully we get one. I'm just gonna unhook it quickly. Hook out. Guys, I didn't throw a big bait. I had a, had a, a fillet of mackerel with some chaka on there on an 8 circle look. So yeah, that's the result. What's important when you catch and land some flat fish, or even when you're landing them, it's important not to put your fingers in here in the spherical. Because what happens is the fish can get an infection and die. There's mucus in there that needs to be there. So rather put your hand nice under. If you look under, it doesn't have teeth. They've got a there's not much teeth on there so if you grab the upper lip with a little bit of sand so you get a grip and then you pull it back and try and keep it low to the ground and pull it back and release it safely That's a better fish. Woo. Now he knows it's hooked. Okay. This feels like a better fish, guys. I just threw this bait again now after landing the diamond. And uh, this feels like a bit of a faster fish. So, could be a sandy. Oh, that's, oh, whoa. that's a sandy, eh? Yeah. yeah. Okay, once again, Salter 6500, the Elite Medium Heavy, the 15 foot version. There is a 14.6 as well, I prefer the 15 foot. I just feel it casts a little bit better for me. It's got a lacquer rod, it's soft. Uh, I mean, if you look at the bend on that rod, 
It's quite comfortable to find a fish as well. Beautiful rod, absolutely beautiful. It's perfect for these, you know, anything up to 100 kilos, it'll handle it. But I mean, ideally, go on. This is exactly what we want, guys. This is what we come here for in summer. Okay, just turned around and came forward. So, just take me up on the line now. Sandy, Sandy fight. He gets you in the short arm here and he just floats around in the waves there. He just rides the waves for the piece shape. It's exactly what he does. And normally the fight begins with the Sandy here on the lip. And that's where you need to save all your energy and save your back as much as possible. Try and tie him out at the back. Exactly what he does. He washes up and down here. So that's the end of our session here in Richards Bay. Uh, bit of a frustrating one for me. I was holding pole the whole time uh, watching Dean catch all the fish on his home ground. Uh, definitely got the hometown advantage there. I think the water temperature was very cold. Sometimes put the sandies off when it gets really cold like that. I was quite surprised we never got a raggy. But uh, also, he wasn't too settled. There was a bit of a surge. So I think with all of that taken into consideration, that's why it was a bit slow. But uh, no, nonetheless, it was was decent average session. Thanks, Rock, for visiting. Yeah, always nice and to then, fish a new ground, and thanks for having us here. No, lucky man. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you soon on the beaches. Ciao.